Hi, sweetie -ans. Welcome back to Zweetieville. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Zweetieville. I am Sweetie Pie, and as you see, we have the final finished shell of the Simsy Shell Challenge. So instead of doing a very quick um, build video and talking through it, we're just going to do a walkthrough real quick and call it good because this house... I'm ashamed to say it took me at least 10 to 12 hours to build and do. I am not the fastest builders. I'm getting my building skills up. I think it turned out really good. I am very proud of it. I hope you guys all enjoy it and um, have some fun with it. So here we are. I have it on the lot in, uh, I have no clue where. So this is the side view, gosh. That started off great, right? I have absolutely no clue where. I'm so sorry. All right, so here's the back view of it. It looks gorgeous, you know. They, they like some flowers, evidently. And here's the side view here. And we're going to come back around to the front. All right, so I'm going to try to do this tab mode thing, but I cannot guarantee to be able to do that well so before oh gosh i'm already messing it up just watching the camera go up and down all right so before we do that i'm gonna spin this in tonight for you so you can see how well it is lit up in the evening and take a good look at it so this be the property at night let me get those butterflies out of the picture so there's the front, and we'll move on to the side view again. Here's the side view of the property. Here's this angle. It's kind of like a crappy angle. I'm so sorry. Let me spin and turn here. There we go. I'd like to show you this garden area real quick at night. Let me zoom up and get in here there you go look at how beautifully lit that garden area is oh so gorgeous at night just saying not to toot my own horn but i do like it there's the back view lit up at night and we got this side view and now you can see that oh let me zoom there you go that gorgeous gorgeous tree over there with all the lights for the kiddos to play and then you got this lovely coming back to the front view so there it is at night so what i kind of envisioned for this house was that you know it had been remodeled and stuff it was an older home so they did keep some of those old type of values in it so you might see some of that as we go through so um i kind of actually have to get in this mode to do it there we go all right let's hopefully i can do this and it's probably going to be slow i am so sorry i have no clue how to make it go any faster whoa that's is that how you go faster no you just zoom in the camera I don't want to zoom in. I don't want to go out either. Right here. Because I can do that on that. Okay. <coughs> I wanted to bring it down. There we go. Alright. So you're looking in. And so we walk in. Let me just zoom out here. You get this beautiful. You can see upstairs. You can see the ceilings messed up over there. Oh gosh. You don't see that, please ignore it. Now I've zoomed out too far and it looks disgusting. I'm so sorry. All right, so this side over here has like a little entry area. You got a little plant there. You got your book bags and stuff. I got stuff hovering, oops. And then you got like a little seating area here where you can put your stuff on. So we're going to, oh, I so hope I'm not making y'all sick doing this. I'm so sorry. Maybe I need to go up a little. There we go. That looks like a better view. Okay. Whew. All right. So this way here, when you go in the house, you go towards the living room area. 
and that is the way it looks here. Kind of cute, cash. Nice, you know, got some bowling trophies going on. Beautiful, we got some bookcases on this end. You got the sliding door to go out back. And then when you round around this way, um, you round into this beautiful kitchen. So there is the kitchen long view. So we're gonna go in, I'll have to give you a couple angles of it. There we go. That looks normal. Right there. So here is this angle here where you can see you got the cabinets, you got the fridge. So then if you turn around from right here, you have this view, which is a coffee bar. Zoom out a little bit more. There you go. Hopefully it doesn't look too bad for you guys. So that is the way that looks. And then, okay, go back into normal view there. All right, you go this direction. And here is this part of the kitchen where you can cook. We got some clutter going, a little window, chop, you know. Is just adorable. I love it. Little spice rack tucked away, some plants. So, as you're seeing, there is a small little glimpse of a laundry room over here. So, when you continue to go around the circle here, you run into your dining area. This is the dining area here. You'll get to see another glimpse of it in a minute. So if you go in this little archway here, which you can see is kind of some of the woodworking that was kept in the house, um, you can come in and you have an open laundry area here. Um, just basic laundry, nothing overly huge. I got some roofs to fix. I'll get those fixed hopefully if I can figure that out. Um, then you have this area here, which is totally cute. Then you're going to see a door here. Let me get down a little bit and we'll go in and this is the guest bathroom. So we have just a little powder room here, nothing huge. A couple little things here for them in case they would like or need to use that. And then when you come back out, Go back to the dining room. Let's go take a look from this angle. We're going back towards the front door. I'm gonna spin you guys so you can look at the dining area from this angle here. There you go. So you can see your kitchen, your dining area. It's really quite beautiful. You can see the wood beams or they opened up the kitchen from the dining area because in the old house it was just left then you got this beautiful stairway here which is so adorable and i suck at going upstairs so let's go up the stairs <coughs> okay let's just get out of tab mode <laughs> oopsie and um okay where am i at okay no Oh my gosh. There we go. All right, we're back in tab mode. There we are. Oh, sorry. Like I said, I'm getting used to this. I'm not good at it. So this is your landing up here. You got just, you know, a little bit of cuteness here going on. A little hallway there. Oh, did not realize that did that. I will have to fix that. And let's just venture into the first door here. The first door here takes you into your master bedroom. It looks like this. You know, you got a little closet area, da da da, which, you know, if you wanted a toddler in this house, you could easily move the mirror and put the crib there real quick. And then once you're done having toddlers in here, or I mean babies, and you go to toddlers, you can easily take that out. This is the direction from this side of the room. Then you have a gorgeous archway, which they painted white here, into the master bathroom. Here it is. Zoom out. It's going to look really a little unproportioned, but here's this side of it right there. 
and then you got your shower get a little poofy you know and there's that side so you got a little double sink action your toilet a little bit of the makeup and clutter nothing huge just great then that will take you out of the master bedroom so if you go into the next door here that's going to bring you in oh got to zoom here into the family bathroom and now we're in the shower so this is this direction here very very blue but very very kiddish we got space we got whales we got a toddler potty we got a toilet it's just so adorable and this is this direction here as well you got the tub shower combo for the little kitties so you can bathe your children and the older ones can take a shower the next door here will take you into this room which is um, suited for a young lady um, assuming you know small child that's still a girl we have some posters everywhere she has a desk to do all of her work she has a bookshelf um, dollhouse play and then this <coughs> is her bedside over here so she has plenty of room left to play and have fun then if you come into the next door this room is outfitted for more like a teenager so um, we got a stereo in here we're coming straight into the desk area here we got like what i considered like gaming posters that were signed um he has like a little gaming setup here with his bed and stuff and i just assumed that those posters signed were like the games that he plays and he's he's gotten them signed things like that so that's be the teenage room and then one last room down this hall here will take you into this room and like oh that's just horrible okay let's just not i'll back up whoops no i won't all right so we're gonna have to take a few angles here so you walk in one you get to see this gorgeous view two this is your office and yes it has some of the new stuff pack stuff in it which i so couldn't help myself to use so there you go so here is all of that just looking beautiful itself and then when you turn into your office you have like a little setup over there which just looks really great again using a lot of that newer stuff and making that beautiful so there is one other special thing with this house since you know strangerville hasn't been released for too long then is the camera gonna drop no so, oh i gotta drop the camera oh okay well, i'm getting better well i dropped the camera way too much we are not a toddler <laughs> okay so there we go um they don't live in strangerville but they've heard of the weird things of strangerville so i assume that the dad you know he worries about his family, making sure everybody is taken care of. So, when little Simsy said we couldn't move that room, what I turned that room into <coughs> is this. Dun, dun, dun. And I suck at this. <gasps> Just a little stairwell, I know, ha, anticipation. All right, so let's go down the stairs and I will suck at getting us down there, but I will try really, really hard. That's up, we're going down. <laughs> I really did bad. <laughs> well, I'll just lower us down now, okay. So, about right there. All right, so when you get down here, you kind of have like this storage area so like dad's kind of like a prepper he's like got a lot of um food and stuff down here we got vegetables and herbs drying and you know more dry food over here we got some supplies we may need old books and stuff they just threw down here and some storage area on that side 
um, a lot of pipes because, you know, you're in the basement. Why not? Um, electrical sign. And I use that as kind of like the electrical panel of the house. Kind of cool looking. I thought it was a good idea. And then, you know, we have another one of those secret doors, which you guys know are secret now. So let's go on in. Um, and this is dad's room. So this room, he has found a bit of the Strangerville stuff and he has brought it home and he is like trying to figure it out. So he's got lots of things here. He's got a little table full of stuff. Um, he's got him the listening station over here. He's got a desk where he is trying to figure it all out and some paperwork, you know, just like creepy, ugly basement. And then when you go in this door, it turns in to kind of like a fallout shelter room. So the family can like bug out down here, if that's what you call it. And it has like a mini little kitchen area here with like a mini fridge and a microwave. I mean, they're not going to be eating good here, but you know, they can eat. Um, so it's got a little table, a little couch. Um, he's got some electricity running down here, some coffee. We got more canned foods here. He's got a TV for the kiddos. Um, he's got vegetables growing here. Um, whoops, wrong button again, which was like really cool looking. I really like that. Um, and then back this direction, we have a bedroom one. And then behind this screen here is a bedroom two. Then there's one more door here. And in this door is this very old but usable creepy bathroom so you got yourself a composting toilet a handmade sink you got you a bathtub here that dad has put together that's forcing some water in from some tanks and you know you got the pipes on the other side where it's coming in at and stuff so this is like a total all out can survive down here if something should go way wronger and the military can't get strangerville under control um and he's got like the little air filtration thing over here on this wall right here so like everything is being controlled in these rooms here so nothing can get to them and his family can survive whatever should happen so this is my interpretation and build of the little simsy challenge i hope you guys have all enjoyed it let's see can i go up hey hey i'm getting better da, da, da. okay and there we go so that is my build i hope you all enjoy it if you do it will be up on my gallery <coughs> you will be able to search it by the hashtags of sweetieville of course and um from sweetie pie as well there we go let's go out of tab mode Whew, okay Thank goodness. Take me out of tab mode. All right, guys. Almost forgot before I let you all go. We need to go see the backyard. So let's just act like we go down this little path here. And let's get down to sim height here because, you know, we're like <laughs> up in the air. And I don't know how to make this go any faster. So I'm going to get out of tab mode and go. <laughs> so you go down this little pathway here, which is just so adorable in my opinion. Oh wow, that is like slow. So slow. And then you enter through the gate. Wrong button. And you have this massive little pool here. Um, which is really great. So you have this nice little deck area pool. We got a pool ball out there. We have the little towels out there. We got a couple more pathways. We got one going that way and one going that way. So I'm going to go this direction and show you this little corner first.
which is like a little play area. So you got the little toddler pool, a little summer bucket, nothing huge. And let me back up here a little bit so you can see from this angle, you have a little corner bird bath in the gate you came in with a little bird house and a flower garden next to the house here in the pool area for you. Um, you have a grill out on the deck for that beautiful little covered patio table. This path here just takes you out the back gate so you have easy access to the park because as you can see behind the swing set stuff, there is a park to the side, a little small one. And then there is this big jungle gym over here with a water bucket. So never noticed that water bucket over there till now so huh so we just have like the little back gate so if the kids want to go play at the little park area or see a friend they can take off running and then this little pathway here through the whole lush flower garden takes you to this patio i mean this picnic table here with a couple of little candle lights on it to help keep the mosquitoes away, I guess. And then you can continue down this little path to a family fire pit over here in this like little small wilderness area. So there's enough chairs for everybody to sit and enjoy the fire. And then mom has her like huge lush garden area over here with a few statues that you know it looks like she has been working on for some some time and is very proud of so that is just a great little spot for her so this is the backyard so go back down this little path here and you know just a simple small porch attached to it here nothing huge at all but it does take you in to the family room i mean the living room there as you can see and then the kitchen is there to that side so and this deck is just pretty clear so that is all of that i wanted to make sure i showed you guys this before i uh ended the video so i do apologize about that and almost forgetting to show off the backyard because i mean you gotta have that backyard, right? I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I am gonna put it up and let um, little Miss Simsy go through it and see what happens there. So until next time, all my Zweetians out there, have a Zweetylicious day. Bye!